What's going on today? I'm gonna to talk to you about the kind of cameras, the lenses that I use with the Zion Crane, especially when it comes to what focal length. And then I'm gonna show you how I set up my Zion Crane and kind of what shots I get with it. Uh, if you haven't seen my last video on how to balance it, click right here and I will show you how I balance my crane um, for the different cameras that I use. So, I have the 6300 and I have a 55 millimeter lens on this right now. This is the extreme. Um, I wouldn't go any, um, any higher than, than this. I prefer to use like a 16 to 35 on a full frame because the more that you zoom in, it's gonna notice the little movements are any imperfections. Um, in the video so i prefer to use somewhere around like a 28 you know the 11 to or i'm sorry the 16 to 35 is on here quite a bit um the 10 to 18 is really good so this is the extreme that i would use on um design cranes so now that we balance it we're going to turn it on and now that it's balanced we are good to go. Now, I use this a lot of times for a lot of reveals. I use it for um, following brides, going over certain things where I don't have time to set up my tripod or where there's a lot of movement. Now, with the Sony line of cameras, I've noticed if you try to move too fast, a lot of your footage you'll get cut lines and I don't know if it's a, a kind of rolling shutter or what it is and so when I first started using this thing I was doing lots and lots of fast movements and I've adjusted my settings to do slower movements and I've got a lot more usable shots it's like a new toy you just want to move it all over the place and I found that the slower shots are more of a usable shot and when I get back to the office put it all in there I have more usable shots on the the stuff that I'm going slower on. So I really like it for that purposes. And inside the app, it has a lot of controls of how you want it to control. So I noticed when I was going through doorways, when I first got this, any little twitch in my hand would make the camera go off and kind of ruin the shot. So that's one thing that I like to control in the speed and how fast it pans and tilts. So depending on what you're doing, you know, you, you might want that. Also on my cameras, I glued a little level on the top so I can find out really quickly if my camera is level or not. So depending on what kind of stuff you're using this for, whether it's vlogging, weddings, fast motion, you might want some different settings. These are just the settings that I use because I do a lot of wedding, it's very moody, so I do a lot of slow motions. I don't want any fast movement so I want it to be very fluid and so I have a lot slower settings than most people and like I said I've noticed maybe it's just me but the Sony line of cameras because they're mirrorless it seems like the rolling shutter is very bad or if you move it really fast you'll get cut lines uh, in the clip if somebody else knows what this call is called please let me know but that's just what I've noticed with the Sony line of cameras. So in my next video, I'm going to go into my settings and how I set up the Zion Crane. 